Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track changes to SharePoint list items. If you enjoy SharePoint teams, power apps, power automate, and power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so you want to track changes to your SharePoint list. It's pretty straightforward. Um, as long as you have versioning on in your SharePoint list, I'll just show you a few ways you're able to tr track changes. But first, let's go ahead. I have my employee data list right here. Let's go ahead and go into list settings. And then we wanna click on versioning settings. So under item version history, we wanna make sure this is toggled to yes. And you can set whatever versions you want. I'm just gonna do 50,000. I believe maybe it's like nine 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 is the max number. We'll see. You must enter a number between one and fifty thousand. So we'll just do fifty thousand just to be safe. So this will actually track fifty thousand changes to each SharePoint item. So if I go ahead and click on version history, we can see the date this was modified, uh, what version number it is, and who it was modified by. So since I'm the only user managing this list, all the modifieds will be by me, but if you have multiple users interacting with this list, it will show different usernames over here. So as you can see on 12.12, I changed the currently employed to yes. I added different managers on 10.10.2023. 10, and this item was created on 11.22 in 2022. This is actually, this is an old list, <laughs> two years ago. So you just wanna make sure versioning is on in your SharePoint list. I believe it's on by default. It might be set to like 50. So bump up that number if you make a lot of changes to your SharePoint list. But also we are going to add a, a few more columns that you can add to your SharePoint list that are automatically created with every item you create. So we can add created, created by, modified by, and when it was modified. Let's go ahead and add these and they'll appear at the end of our SharePoint list. Uh, they shouldn't be on by default, so you'll just have to go to column settings, show high columns, and then add those. But if we sort this from newer to older, in the modify field, we can see when these items are actually changed and who they were changed by. And this data, users can't change it. It's like metadata. so. It's just information about the SharePoint item. So users can't change that. So it will always be accurate. So if I just go to version history, I can see it was actually changed yesterday by Michael. And that shows over here. So I just want to give you this quick little video because a lot of users don't know about version history or a lot of users might be curious to see, hey, I want to see who changed the SharePoint item. Uh, users can delete items. So if I delete this, I'm like, hey, where did my item go? You can click on the recycling bin on the right, on the left hand side. It was actually under my picture, but it'll be on your left hand side navigation. And as you can see, we have our item right here from Mike. It was deleted on 213, deleted by Michael, the original location. So let's just go ahead and restore that and bring it back to my list. Go back to the list and it should be back in the SharePoint list. Just go to newer to older. And there we go, there's Mike again. He's back in our SharePoint list. So that's how you track a uh, version and changes to your SharePoint list. Uh, the only last comment I have, if you have like a Power Automate flow that updates each item in the list, um, that is actually going to change this modified field. So you don't wanna have like a, a daily flow that updates values because it will screw up the modified. But you also do have 50,000 versions, so it's going to track it for a long time, but maybe in like five, six years, you might go past 50,000 changes. Who knows? Yeah, that'll be the video for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video about SharePoint list. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like my content, and I will catch you in the next one.